the imaginary part of OFDM symbol. These both can make one OFDM symbol. It get passed to the pulse shaping filter. The role of pulse shaping filter is that uh, it uh, that that we have to satisfy the Nyquist criteria uh, because if a given frequency does not satisfy the Nyquist criteria, then there are aliasing effect. Aliasing effect takes place between the two OFDM symbols because the process is too fast. So it means the output at this output we have to transmit a lot of OFDM symbol. So if we are not satisfying the Nyquist response criteria, then two symbol can interfere with each other, and as a result of it, anti-aliasing effect occur. So uh, in this block, we have a raised cosine or symmetric raised cosine filter. I already explained this in this in this slide that we have we need a odd symmetric extension raised cosine filter which which has this Nyquist frequency and uh, if in order to make the communication aliasing free we have to satisfy this criteria. So we need an ideal low pass filter but actually it doesn't exist so th in, in the real world we are using this filter in order to satisfy the Nyquist frequency criteria. So now after satisfying the Nyquist cri frequency criteria now it will enter to the to the RF up conversion block where there is a sign generator which can generate the frequency of 7.5 gigahertz and it generate a sine wave so now the sine wave is multiplied with the real part and after and the cosine part cosine function because here there is a phase shift of 90 degree is multiplied with the imaginary part so that we have to separate the real part with the imaginary part so we can combine the real part and the imaginary part and it we fed it into the logical add block. The role of logical add block is that it generates a logical channel which contains the information of this modulated OFDM symbols data, not symbol but symbols data. Also the, the amount of bit that is generated by the PRBS pseudo random binary sequence generator. So it contains information of of both both case. One logical channel channel contains the information of both 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 case. Now the output of this symbol is this is the output. This is the logical channel we generated and which contains both information and it fed into the logic logical drive circuit the role of this logical drive circuit is that it can make the swing of voltage so that our input signal is compatible with the laser uh, is compared so that it can easily modulate it by the Max Zender modulator. So the data is fed into the Max Zender modulator and uh, the laser here we use is the continuous wave laser and which is this continuous wave laser is generated by the DFV that is distributed feedback laser and this distributed feedback laser we are uses we, we can use for single mode fiber so this is fed into MZM modulator and this modulated output this modulated output from this modulator enter into the optical filter. Now I want to explain you that this this is the this optical filter is the key component for this whole transmission because I can make a transmission of 100 kilometers and if we are not using this optical filter then sometimes we cannot receive nothing in our receiver because this output contains 
the double sideband signal double sideband optical signal it means it has two bands one band is on right and another band is on le uh, left the right band is the positive positive band and the left band is the negative phase band so sometimes if the negative phase is is completely out of phase from the from the positive phase then they both overlap with each other and at the end we get zero output so this is the key this optical filter is key component for the transmission it it is entered to the loop i am setting the loop is equal to 10 one loop loop is equal to 1 means 10 km and loop is equal to 10 means 10 into 10 is equal to 100 km so in this universe universal i add the attenuation and mm, because this is for practical case even we can make attenuation is equal to 0 then we do not require this and this this is edfa that is erm dop uh, erm dop fiber amplification and this is again optical amplifier this is again optical filter this edfa is optical amplifier and we are using it only in the single mode optical fiber and the advantage of this EVM based amplifier is that it can amplify our signal without converting the signal from electrical to optical it is it is the optical amplifier we can use and this this amplifier we can only use in single mode fibers that's why we always prefer single mode fibers because for practical scenario we always amplify the signal so for each 10 kilometer we put this amplifier we put this uh, this filter so that the, uh, the data is transmitted from 100 kilometers so at the receiver we have photo detector this photo detector can convert this optical signal back into the electrical signal and then at the receiver uh, we, we, we are decoded the whole data we, which we can code it at the transmitter so now I will directly come to the output the output here we can display the SEE that is signal error estimator signal we, we can estimate the signal error estimation that is with the help of signal error estimator we can calculate the SER that is that is symbol error rate and we, we, we can able uh, we also calculate the error, ve error, error vector magnitude error vector magnitude is, uh, is the magnitude uh, which we receive at the receiver uh, for the given constellation how much one symbol can displace its position from its actual position so this EVM can explain you the actual position how how the given symbol is displayed and the third thing we can measure is the is the optical signal with the help of signal analyzer so it means that output displays we, we can measure the three things the first thing is the symbol error rate the second thing is the EVM and the third thing is the the optical signal so the graph come is like this if we are not using the equalizer then uh, it, uh, in this case I am using the optical filter but I am not using the equalizer if we are not using the equalizer then it doesn't affect on the optical spectrum but yes it will affect on the EVM it will affect the receive constellation now we are not able to detect the constellation it means this receive data is useless for us because this EVM is so so high so this transmission is failed we cannot receive anything now we see the next second case Spec uh, with equalizer we see what happens here in this case I am using the equalizer as well as the filter so we see that this, this, this is the optical laser this is the optical laser output and this is the RF input data which is placed on the optical signal this is optical modulated data so now we see that the EVM 
is very very low and we I'm using the four QAM so now we are we are able to differentiate each we, we are able to differentiate the QAM so this is this is the this is one of the best output we receive now we see the case when we are not using the optical amplifier if you are not using the optical amplifier we see that this is this is our optical laser this is our positive RF data we receive and this is the negative RF data received if this is a general case so it doesn't affect it doesn't uh, uh, much it doesn't it does not affect much to our data but in most of the cases we cannot receive anything because this negative part can cancel the positive part and the constellation we receive is this it means in that case also our our uh, our transmission uh, is failed because we cannot receive anything this data is also useful is, is also useless for us now we see the third case when we are not using either the optical amplifier or the equalizer so we receive the same optical spectrum as we are as we received in the previous case because equalizer cannot affect the optical spectrum and now EVM is more worse and the constellation is more worse than the previous case as we see that here the EVM is 0 0.703 but here the EVM is 1.048 and the even we, we can uh, we can extract some data from from this constellation but from here it's impossible to extract any data so it is the worst case out of the three comparison we did like from this comparison from this from this and from this so this is th that one is the worst received data and that one is the best received data so for for proper reception or for proper optical communication we always need optical amplifier we always need equalizer and at the end i want to i want to tell you the drawback of ofdm the OFDM, the the one of the biggest drawback in OFDM is the largest peak to average ratio. What is this? This it means that our peak power is always n times the average power. N means the number of subcarriers. In my case, I'm using the 64. It means that my peak power. Is my peak power is 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 the 64 times to the average power. So it affects the signal to noise ratio of the receive spectrum. So in order to compensate this, we can make the peak to be fixed and we can increase the average so as to reduce this peak to average power. There are a lot of coding schemes and clipping schemes we are using. And the second biggest problem is its sensitivity for frequency and phase noise. So after the, the resource I'm using is, is as follows, but out of these resources the most helpful one is the obviously a VPI software, but this I did under the guidance of my professor, known as Maria Santos, and I prefer the notes of my professor. So I thank to my professor to give me such good lecture and to give me such good software so that it enhanced my knowledge and I hope so that it will also enhance your knowledge. Thank you very much and we will meet some other time at some other presentation.